Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson, and one of the things I see on a regular basis is a condition called onychodystrophy. Now, onychodystrophy doesn't have a really good definition. It basically means uh, dystrophy or abnormality of the nail. And this can be caused by many different causes. You can get conditions where you get thickening of the nail. You can get conditions where you get splitting of the nails or pitting of the nails or uh, crumbling of the nails, softening of the nails, all of those can be forms of onychodystrophy. And there are multiple different common causes of these, these onychodystrophies and they're all treated differently. We've talked about onychomycosis, fungal toenails. This it causes a color change of the nail, but also a lot of times can cause a thickening or a crumbling of the nail called onychomycosis. You can get splitting of the nail where you can actually get either horizontal or vertical splits through the nail. And in this case, onychorexia is the most common where you got a splitting of the nail and it can be caused from injury. It can be caused from disease processes. It can be caused um, by abnormalities in the nutrition level of the nail, such as if you have a biotin deficiency where the nail just gets soft and it cracks that way. It can also be caused from trauma say ballerinas commonly will get a splitting of the nail or, or if you're doing certain sports like soccer you can actually get splitting of the nail um, you can get a dystrophy from traumatic type injuries dropping something on your toe or hitting the toe against the wall or a door frame or a bed frame you can get dystrophy of the nail from trauma from a sports injury uh, one of the common ones we see is individuals that are playing soccer barefoot and they end up either lifting the nail and ripping the nail off or injuring the nail in such a way that it gets thick or discolored or dystrophic in some other way. Um, you can actually get pitting of the nails, such as with psoriasis. Uh, many of the systemic diseases will be exhibited in the nails, including some uh, discoloration of the nails for different situations. You can also get black spots on the nails or even some injuries that are commonly misconstrued of onico, uh, as onychodystrophy, such as uh, injury underneath the toenail, subbuckle hematoma, uh, melanoma under the toenail, where you get a black spot that stays in the air as the nail grows, stays in there. Uh, injury to the nails where you're lifting the nail off, that's not truly a, an onychodystrophy, it's just an, some other injury to the nail that usually requires trimming or other treatments. So if you have onychodystrophy, if you have an abnormality of the nail, it is important to find out what the cause is so you can treat the cause. If you treat the cause, a lot of times the onychodystrophy, the abnormality of the nail will resolve. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Podiatry Tips Day 349. If you would like additional information, or if you're saying, okay, I have a problem with my nail, you're welcome to follow us through our YouTube channel, or you can actually look at utahfootdoc.com and you can reach out to us and most of the time I can give you some options that you can do at home or